see sine square pi by 6 pi by 6 is just 30 degree this should be i mean this calculation should be easy i mean it should be mental it means you should get so much comfortable with it that pi by 6 is equal to 30 degree this should, you should get by heart only by practice only cos square pi by 3 pi by 3 is actually 60 degree angle and cos square 7 pi by 6 now 7 pi by 6 is something new so 7 pi by 6 is if actually if you observe cos square 7 pi by 6 okay so 7 pi by 6 is what can you see that 7 pi by 6 is nothing but 6 pi plus pi by 6 7 pi upon 6 is 6 pi plus pi that is 7 pi upon 6 so nothing but pi plus pi by 6 so pi plus means here is you rotate pi and then you go addition angle pi by 6 so cosec of that angle now i don't want to uh, I, I did not memorize all the formulas for cosec second cot the trigonometric ratios that i am comfortable with it is sine cos and tan so sine of pi plus pi by 6 the allied angles that we saw sine of pi plus theta what is what is its relation with sine theta just the signature changes sine of pi plus pi by 6 means pi plus theta and sine of theta the signature is opposite but when you will take sine square so the signature will become same only the signature of sine of pi plus theta sine square pi plus theta and sine square theta signature will be same so cosec square also signature will be same so cosec square pi by 6 i can write any doubt here so the ratio becomes twice sine square 30 degree plus cos square 60 degree upon cos square is actually 1 upon sine square 30 degree yes or no and after this also before substitution sine square 30 plus cos square 30 i won't substitute 60 and 30 i, I know the relation cos square 30 is actually sine square cos square 60 sorry cos of 60 is sine of 30 sine theta and sine 90 the relation between theta and 90 minus theta so cos of 60 is sine of 30 so i just substituted it and now the final answer comes out to be twice sine square 30 degree addition one so the value becomes two multiplied by what is sine 30 sine 30 is one by two so its square will be one by four plus one so two into one by four that is half half plus one so the answer will be three by two okay next question here i am removing you from the class your camera is off Next. Cos of pi plus x into cos of minus x upon sine of pi minus x into cos of pi by 2 plus x is equal to question mark and your options are plus or minus cot square x means these are two options okay let me write with a b c d only first option is cot square x second option is minus cot square x this is a this is b third option is tan square x D option is minus of tan square x. E option is 1. F option is minus 1. And G option is none of these. Nota. Nota means none of the above. A, B, C, D, E, F, G.
Keshav, you joined late. Put on the camera. Yes, are in the US correct? Are in B correct? Ujita Ram. Then enjoy your camera is off. Others, some response EXP at least. Don't sit idle. One minute more, not more than that. C. Cos of pi plus x. Cos of pi plus x again, the same story. You should just imagine that here is your x. X is some angle and cos of pi plus x. You rotate to pi degree, pi radian, sorry, not degree, pi radian, and then again x over here. So pi plus x. So this comes out to be a straight line. So cos of pi plus x, these two triangles are similar allied angles that we saw. Pi, plus, pi by 2 plus minus theta, 3 pi by 2 plus minus theta, pi plus minus theta. So cos of pi plus x. Cos of pi plus x, its relation with cos x. Magnitude will be same, just the signature will be opposite. This is the value of cos of pi plus x. Can you see this? Magnitude will be same, the signature will be opposite. So cos x with a negative sign and cos of minus x. Can you see that negative x? Negative x will be somewhere over here. This will be negative x. So cos of x and cos of minus x doesn't make any difference. So cos of minus x, I'm just writing it cos x. Now, sine of pi minus x, pi minus x. So, pi minus x will be now here is x. Pi minus x will be the same. This elevation is actually the angle corresponding to this part. So, I rotate pi completely and then come back x radian. I rotate pi complete and then come back x. So, pi minus x. So sine of pi minus x, sine of pi minus x is the y coordinate, y coordinate in both of the triangles, it is same. So sine of pi minus x will be same as sine x only. And cos of pi by 2 plus x, pi by 2 plus x, so this will be just pi by 2 addition x. So cos, cos of that value is actually what? The x coordinate, cos is the x coordinate, so I have to take this value, the dotted line, the dotted line x coordinate x coordinate means what magnitude of that side with a negative sign negative sign of magnitude so negative sign of magnitude means minus sign with the magnitude of that side so what is the magnitude of that side it is opposite to x so if you just rotate your head and see that it is sine of x negative of sine x so what actually it becomes is minus of 
cos square x upon minus of sin square x. So the option, correct option is A option that is cot square x. Okay, any doubt anybody? Next. Sin square pi by 18 plus sin square pi by 9 plus sin square 7 pi by 18 plus sin square 4 pi by 9. Your options are 0 plus or minus 1. Means plus minus 1. Means those are two options. 1 and minus 1. Plus and minus 2. Means total 5 options I have given you. And obviously then this option is always Nota. This option will always be there. Nota means none of the four. Just type something in the chat box. Dhananjay wrong. One answer by common sense you can eliminate. That zero will definitely be not be the answer. Sir, I have a doubt, sir. Okay, just one second, Harini. By zero, you can definitely eliminate because square of first term, square of second term, square of third term, square of fourth term. If the addition, if at all it is zero, means what? Each and every term should be zero itself. Each and every term should give the value zero. Then only because each term is square, no? so it is a non-negative term. So zero or positive. So the addition is zero. So each and every term individually should be zero, which is not the case. So zero, you can directly eliminate. Now tell me, Harini, what's your doubt? No, sir. In the answer, you have written uh, for everything plus or minus, no, sir. Means those are two options. Means actually, I... Means okay, fine, sir. Fine, sir. That's my doubt. Okay, okay. Yes, plus, minus, only means those are two separate options. Plus, minus, two, those are two separate options. Yes, Harini, correct. B, no, B, Harini, B, correct. One minus one minus two. Okay, come on, students. Just once a minute, sum this was. 
साइन स्क्वेर पाए बाय एटीन साइन स्क्वेर पाए बाय एटीन इज एक्चुअली वॉट साइन स्क्वेर टेन डिग्री पाए बाय एटीन इज वॉट पाए इज वन एट्टी डिग्री वन एट्टी अपॉन एटीन इज टेन डिग्री सेकेंड साइन स्क्वेर पाए बाय नाइन वन एट्टी अपॉन नाइन वन एट्टी अपॉन नाइन इज ट्वेंटी डिग्री साइन स्क्वेर सेवन पाए बाय एटीन पाए अपॉन एटीन इज टेन करेक्ट पाए वन एट्टी वन एट्टी अपॉन एटीन इज टेन डिग्री सेवन इंटू टेन इज सेवेंटी डिग्री एंड फोर्थ इज साइन स्क्वेर पाए बाय नाइन इज ट्वेंटी डिग्री ट्वेंटी डिग्री इंटू फोर सो एट्टी डिग्री आई जस्ट कन्वर्टेड रिडाइंस इंटू डिग्री नाउ कैन यू सी हियर दैट दिस साइन स्क्वेर टेन एंड दिस साइन स्क्वेर एट्टी दे फॉर्म अ पेर हाउ दे फॉर्म अ पेर पेर मीन्स दे आर नॉट एक्जैक्टली सेम दे आर नॉट सेम ओके बट साइन स्क्वेर एट्टी आई कैन कैन आई रिप्लेस इट बाय कॉस स्क्वेर टेन इफ आई वॉन्ट टू रिप्लेस एट्टी डिग्री बाय टेन डिग्री साइन ऑफ एट्टी इज सेम एज कॉस ऑफ टेन एंड साइन ऑफ ट्वेंटी एंड दिस साइन सेवेंटी साइन सेवेंटी कैन आई राइट दिस कॉस ऑफ ट्वेंटी so sin square 70 is cos square 20 now here this value and this value are not same but the addition is equals to 1 and sin square 20 sin square 20 and cos square 20 values are equals to 1 so 1 plus 1 the final answer will be 2 okay सर वन स्क्रोल डाउन सर डन सर is equals to question mark answer will be a very simple value okay some integer between minus 10 to plus 10 some simple integer between minus 10 to plus 10 this is the answer The allied angles that I have taught you, pi by two plus minus theta, three pi by two plus minus theta, pi plus minus theta. Don't memorize them. I told you earlier also. In your uh, mind, you should just be able to move the arc that we do, the the angle, the ray that we rotate. That you should be able to rotate them. Plus x rotate clock, anti clockwise. Minus x rotate clockwise. Able to imagine that rotation in your head, then it will be very easy. You will be saved from the problem. Sir, yes, tell me. Sir, sorry, sir. Here there is a power cut. Uh, so when the power returns, can I on my video? Okay, fine. हारिनी भी करेक्ट पूजिता करेक्ट Yes, Karini, you is correct. 
धनंजय सनात cos of 3 pi by 2 plus x cos of 3 see cos of 2 pi plus x i will directly write cos of 2 pi plus x i will directly write as cos x because 2 pi is exactly one complete rotation so when you complete a one complete rotation you will land at the same mark okay so cos of 2 pi plus anything that will be the same value okay now cos of 3 pi by 2 plus x so 3 pi by 2 plus x is something like here 3 pi by 2 addition x you will end here cos cos is the x coordinate x coordinate is this magnitude of this value along with the positive sign and magnitude of this value is what opposite to x degree so it is sin x cos of 3 pi by 2 plus x is sin x cos x is substituted and in the bracket cot of 3 pi by 2 minus x so 3 pi by 2 minus x will be something like this. We rotate up to 3 pi by 2 and then subtract x. So this is x and cot of this. Now I don't know what is the meaning of cot. So cot is cos upon sine. So first I will evaluate what is cos of 3 pi by 2 minus x. So cos of 3 pi by 2 minus x is this value, x coordinate. x coordinate means this value, negative of this magnitude negative of this magnitude. I am, I am evaluating cos of 3 pi by 2 minus negative of this magnitude. Negative of this magnitude means negative of sin x upon cos of 3 pi by 2 minus x upon sin of 3 pi by 2 minus x. Sin of 3 pi by 2 minus x is this value. Purple means adjacent side of x along with a negative sign. So negative signature and adjacent side of x. Adjacent side of x is actually cos x addition cot of 2 pi plus x cot of 2 pi plus x is same as cot x okay 2 pi plus anything the same ratio gives so the value returns are to be sin x cos x multiplied by upon cos sin x upon cos x plus cortex is actually cos x upon sin x. Do the simplification. It turns out to be sin square x plus cos square x which is 1. Okay. Next question. This was question number 4. Question number 5. Again, answer is a nice integer.
US correct. Then Anjay, today no response. Jita, Harini B, what about you? Are you getting it? Yes, we're trying it. sec of three three pi by two minus theta so what is a sec sec is one upon cos so one upon cos of three pi by two minus theta so just imagine here only three pi by two minus theta, three pi by two minus theta okay we came back theta direction and segments one upon cos we have to cal calculate cos of this value so cos of this value is this magnitude with a negative sign magnitude of purple line with a negative sign so minus of sine theta multiplied by sec of theta minus pi by 2 now theta minus pi by 2 it will be a little bit complicated because now you have to rotate in the clockwise direction minus pi by 2 so first convert negative angles into positive angles so instead of theta minus pi by 2 if the angle given would have been pi by 2 minus theta or yeah, pi by 2 plus theta the job would have been easy means the angles the questions that we did up till now so can i relate theta minus pi by 2 and pi by 2 minus theta yes you can see that cos of alpha minus alpha so sec of alpha will be same as sec of minus alpha so sec of theta minus pi by 2 can i just replace here only instead of theta minus pi by 2 can i write here only pi by 2 minus theta negative of that angle sec of pi by 2 minus theta it won't make any difference so sec of pi by 2 minus theta so now that is 1 upon cos of pi, 5 pi by 2 minus theta where is 5 pi by 2 5 pi by 2 is actually in the corres uh, corresponding to the pi by 2 5 pi by 2 is 4 4 pi plus 5 means 2 pi plus pi by 2. So 5 pi by 2 will be over here. 5 pi by 2 minus theta. 5 pi by 2 minus theta is this r, r. and here so means 1 upon cos. Cos we have to calculate. So cos is this. So that will be nothing but sine theta. Cos of that value will be same as in the denominator. Means so in the denominator we are calculating 1 upon cos. So it will be same as sine addition now tan of 5 pi by 2 plus theta same 5 pi by 2 is over here so 5 pi by 2 plus theta will be over here so tan of this value so first we will calculate sine upon cos sine upon cos sine is the purple value sine is the y coordinate y coordinate so it can be related to cos theta upon tan is means actually tan is sine of 5 pi by 2 plus theta upon cos of 5 pi by 2 plus theta so cos is the cos of 5 pi by 2 plus theta is the blue value the magnitude of the blue side with a negative sign 
blue side with a negative sign so negative of blue value that is the sin theta multiplied right by tan of 3 pi by theta minus 3 pi by 2 so now here you cannot directly change theta minus 3 pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 minus theta you will have to because tan of alpha tan of alpha and tan of negative alpha they are not exactly same they are related by minus 1 minus 1 multiplied by tan of minus alpha because sin the sin function sin function changes its signs and the changes its signature and cos functions remain same alpha and minus alpha cos remains same sin function changes its sign so tan have opposite sign so here i will write minus 1 multiplied by tan of 3 pi by 2 minus theta and now this i will change and now this i will calculate tan of 3 pi by 2 minus theta so tan of 3 pi by 2 minus theta so 3 pi by 2 i rotated and then came back theta so this is my theta so tan just i will write here only tan of 3 pi by 2 minus theta if i write over here so tan sine sine sign is cos theta with a negative sign okay sine of uh, tan pi by 2 minus theta is the y coordinate negative of this purple cos theta with a negative sign and upon denominator is cos so cos is this red part so negative of the magnitude of red part negative of magnitude red part magnitude red part is sine theta so if you just calculate this now this first ratio becomes minus 1 upon sine square theta and the second ratio be careful with the signature okay lots of negative signs are there so it will be addition only four negative signs are there four negative signs cos square theta upon sine square theta so minus 1 plus cos square theta minus 1 plus cos square theta upon sine square theta so minus of if i take minus sine common minus 1 plus cos square is minus of sine square and denominator is sine square theta so it will be minus 1 any doubt to anybody this part now I'm taking fast because we have come, we have dedicated one complete lecture to this LED angles. That's why I'm taking this part very fast. Okay. Next. So could you just scroll up a little bit, just a bit? Okay. Compare you have to just put greater than equal to less than sign. The three comparisons are greater than equal to less than option A, option B, option C, greater than equal to less than. Shall I scroll down? Yes. Okay. The answer is not equal to. Okay. Ujita, I will ask you the reason for the answer. Dhananjay, okay. correct. Ujita, your answer is correct, but be ready with your explanation. Okay, I will ask you the explanation. Those have finished solving the first question. For them, this question is this is the this six, sixth and seventh are exactly the same only. 6.1. And six point 
two. Same compare. RNA be correct, US correct. Okay, Pujita, you can unmute yourself and tell me the explanation sine one and sine one degree. How are you comparing them? Sir, I just guessed it, sir. <laughs> you just guessed it. I knew. Okay. Anybody else wants to extra give it a try? You can unmute yourself. Sir, can I explain? Okay, go on. So this is Harini B. Ah, yes, tell me Harini. Sir, actually I changed it into radian, sir. And I found that uh, sine one degree, sir. Uh, which did you change into radian? Yes, sir, sine one I changed into radian, sir. Sine one I got as 0 0.84, sir. And uh, sine one, one actually, one when I have written one, sine one, that one is itself in radian. On the right hand side, I have written this small symbol. That means that symbol is of degree. On the right hand side, what is the symbol? Sine of one degree. And on the left hand side, what is I have written? Sine of one. Nothing is there. So means what is that one? That one angle is one red iron. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. On the right hand side, degree symbol is there, no? So how can you convert the left hand side one into red iron? It's, it is already in red iron. Okay. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. So the correct method is means you have to convert either means you approached the you know, the approach was right, but you made a mistake. So either convert both the angles in radian or convert both the angles in degrees. Okay. So RHS means uh, as a, uh, means, uh, generally we are more comfortable with degree. So RHS is one degree, so let it be one degree only. The LHS. LHS is one radian. So you know that we have already calculated this in this unitary method. Pi radian is equals to 180 degrees. So one radian is equals to question mark. So what will come in place of question mark? 180 upon pi degrees. This we have calculated. So 180 upon pi. If we substitute 180 upon 3.14, we do this calculation. 180 upon 3.14 is approximately 57 point something radian. Oops, sorry, 57 point something degree. One red One radian, how much I give in the first lecture, we saw also the picture, the pictorial representation of one radian, how much it will be. Approximately, I told you that it will be 57 point something degree. So now actually the question is compare sine 57 point something degrees and sine of one degree. So in the first quadrant, we have see 57 point something degree also lies in the first quadrant. One degree also lies in the first quadrant. And I told you to complete this table. Which table? The sine function increases, decreases, left. Uh, this table. Sine function. Cos function, tan function. How it changes its value from 3, 0 to 90, 90 to 180. I told you, those who have completed, they will be able to get an answer this question. Okay. In the first quadrant, as the value increases, as the theta increases, sine of that theta is actually y coordinate, y coordinate goes on increasing. So, sine of 57 degree will be greater than sine of 1 degree. Now, tan 25 and tan 25 degree. Now, 
धनंजय से आंसर एंडेशन Right? Yes, second, second, twenty-five. Are you able to solve Sir, um, I got ten twenty-five is greater. Ten twenty-five is greater. Okay. Uh, explain. How did you solve it? Basically, um, I converted it into degrees. I converted ten twenty-five degrees, which is zero point four six, and um, ten twenty-five. Twenty-five is zero point four six degrees. Yes, sir. That's what I got. Yeah. No. Conversion, you are doing wrong. Oh, sorry, sir. Sir, I mean, sir actually, uh, uh, sir, actually, tan twenty five degree, you get it as zero point four six. Value of tan twenty five is zero point four six, or twenty five is zero point four six. Sir, tan twenty five degree zero point four six. One minute. One minute. One minute. Okay. Sanat, you unmute and tell me what you are telling. Twenty-five red iron is zero point four six, or tan of twenty-five is zero point four six. Uh, it's twenty-five, sir. Twenty-five is equals to zero point four six degree. Yeah. No. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Just a minute. Come on, yeah. So, first lecture we discussed how is One red iron approximately looking like. Let me let me see that that picture will be. So tan of twenty five red iron red iron P one. Who is it? And meet everyone. Someone is someone. Uh, sir, uh, now I've got a clear idea, sir. A tan twenty five degrees zero point four six. Okay, and how did you calculate it? This even I cannot calculate up till now. Did you Google it? Uh, yes, sir. Come on. अगर गूगल ही करना था तो बुढ़ाई बाय लाइक द बेसिक आइडिया इज दैट साइन साइन बाय कॉस सो फर्स्ट यू कैन कैलकुलेट साइन 25 डिग्री देन यू कैलकुलेट कॉस 25 डिग्री हां ओके डोंट लाइक अ पॉलिटी डोंट टॉक लाइक अ पॉलिटिशियन यू कैन कैलकुलेट साइन 25 हाउ विल यू कैलकुलेट साइन 25 टेल मी वी विल डू इट वी विल प्रोग्रेस द कंट्री हाउ विल यू डू इट टेल मी How will you calculate sine twenty five? Even I don't know up till now how to calculate sine twenty five. Using the table, we can calculate trigonometric tables and all. 
the red, the log table, trigonometric tables and that we have. But over the means some mathematical functions and all we cannot help it. Even I cannot help it up till now. Okay. Then uh, Pooja has raised hand. Pooja, tell me. Sir, I did not get it. I am getting something seven point two like that. Okay. Then Anjay, tell me. So basically, uh, tan of twenty five red iron will be so first twenty five red iron will be around one eighty by pi into twenty five. So it should approximately be one four. Thousand four hundred something. Okay. Twenty five degree, and we know that when it comes to tan, uh, tan of uh, greater value will be uh, lower in the value, and tan of uh, the degree when it's lower will have a positive value. So, so tan of twenty five degree will be more than tan of twenty five red iron. No, uh, one minute. I did not get you. Twenty five red iron you converted into something fourteen hundred and something degree. That may be correct. I don't know. Okay, that may be correct, possibly. Okay, it's a very large value. The twenty-five red iron is a very large value in terms of degrees. Okay, so twenty-five red iron is approximately fourteen degrees. Considering that to be right, what ahead did you do? So, uh, tan of uh, greater value. Uh, they taught us in school. So, whenever uh, greater value comes for tan, it will be negative value. Well, ah. lesser the value, it will be more positive. Tan of greater value is lesser, but it does not mean that tan of greater value is okay. Tan of greater value, this okay, this, okay, one. Ah, uh, where is one red iron? One red iron is equals to one eighty upon pi, and that is fifty seven degree approximately. This we did in the first class. I'm not getting that picture. Okay, this we did it somewhere. One red iron, how much it will look like? Okay, so forget that thing. Uh, tan of as theta increases from the first quadrant, sine increases, sine increases, and cos decreases. So the overall effect y upon x, y is also increasing and x is also decreasing. So the overall effect on the fraction will be increase only. Tan will increase from zero to three and three and infinity, but that is only in the first quadrant. In the second quadrant. the story changes tan it changes from negative infinity to zero and that is means increases third and fourth quadrant also have to argue similarly but dhananjay you went on the right track but you you your argument you did not complete it means your self means you did not complete the argument so tan 25 so go again ask us of the unitary method only pi red iron 180 degree okay So how much twenty five red iron will cost? Pi apples cost one eighty rupees. How much will twenty five apples cost? So that how much it will be? Twenty five multiplied by one eighty upon pi. So that turns out to be equal to twenty five into one eighty upon three point one four. You can calculate this by calculator if you want. That's it. But actually, before calculating that also, if you just observe. Twenty-five red iron is there, no? So I'm just trying to make a guess where this twenty-five red iron will come. This is my zero. This is my pi. This is my pi by two, and this is my three pi by two. In terms of degree, if you want, uh, if if you just want to convert it into not in terms of degree, if in terms of decimal, if we convert, this is approximately one point five seven. Pi by two, three point one four upon this one, one point seven, I think so. One point five eight or something, and this is approximately three point one four. Okay, and so on. Two pi, four pi, six pi, eight pi, and so on. So twenty five, if you want, twenty five, if you want. Can you see that twenty-five red ions? If you go on term, can seeing these numbers in terms of decimals, twenty-five red ions. This is zero red ion, one point five eight red ions, three point one four red ions. Then two pi means actually it is six point two eight red ions. Then four pi, four pi means four into three point four into three point means twelve point something red ions, and so on. If you go on rotating this way, so means. You have reached twelve point something red ions means you have rotated two times completely, and you have re still reached the positive x-axis. 
So can you see the 25 red ions if you see? So 8 pi, 8 pi if you go over here somewhere, 8 pi. So 8 pi will be 8 into 3.14 something. So 8 into 3.14 something will be, it will be 14. It's a 112 carry one. 25 point something. Can you see 8 pi will be something 25 point something? Yes or no? Yes, sir. So if you are rotating completely means you have rotated how much one rotation complete means you have rotated 6.28 red ions. Another rotation if you complete 6.28, 12 point something red ions. So if you complete the 8 pi means 25 point something rotation or 25.12 red ions it will be. The positive x axis will correspond to 25.12 red ions. So 25 red ions, 25 red ions is not the complete rotation up to up till positive x axis. It is little less than that. So little less than that it may be in the fourth quadrant or it may be in the third quadrant also because you have to cut short of that rotation. The last rotation that you are doing, you have to cut that rotation in between. You have to stop that rotation in between only. So till where you have to stop? In the fourth quadrant also, you may you would have stopped or you would have stopped in the third quadrant also. So you just have to check the 25.12. If you cut short up to three, means if you uh, if you stop up to here only, up to this point only, means actually from 25.1 to that uh, 8 pi, means approximately 8 pi, you have subtracted pi by 2. One rotation, you have subtracted pi by 2. So from 25.1 to approximately you have subtracted pi by 2 is how much? Pi by 2 is 1 point something. So approximately it will be 24 point, 24 point or 23 point something like that. So one thing we can say for sure that 25 red ion will be in the four quadrant and tan of this value will be negative. And 25 degree, 25 degree somewhere over here and 25 red ion, 25 red ion is this value. More rotations will be there up to 8 pi. I'm not drawing all the rotations. So that will be this R. This will be the rota uh, arm corresponding to 25 red ion. And this will be the arm corresponding to 25 degree. So you can obviously see that tan of 25 degree is positive. This value is positive. And tan of 25 is negative. So just by that signature, just by the signature, we can compare that tan 25 will be less than tan of 25 degrees. If you tell me to calculate the value of tan 25, so I will tell you I cannot calculate. Even now I cannot calculate. And those who are Googling this answer means, sir, we are searching on the Google. Use your common sense that in your exams you are you will not be able uh, allowed to calculate. You are not allowed to calculate the calculator only. How can you use the Google? I'm asking you this question, so there should be, there should be some sense behind that question. Okay. Everybody clear with the explanation of this question? Compare. Yes or yes, no? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Next. Find the value of A max plus B minimum. Okay. First, A is equal to
2 plus sin x and b is equal to 2 minus sin 1. Now, a is as x will go on changing, sin x will go on changing and accordingly a will go on changing. So, what is the maximum value of a? Addition, minimum value of b. Saiteja video. Okay, Pujita. Last class, um, in the last 10 to 15 minutes, I was explaining the concept of range and domain. Domain is where the function is defined. And the range is the actual values that, that the value contains. No, RA first is wrong. B. This part should be clear to you. Sin x domain. Domain is where the function is actually defined. Sin x is defined for all values of x. x can take any value, negative to positive. So x is equal to 10. x is equal to 10 means what? It is 10 red ion. So you can rotate 10 red ion. It will have somewhere between first, second, fourth, third, fourth quadrant. And you can find sin x. What is the range? Range means actual values that sin x can take. And actual values where sin x can take means what it will be? The y coordinate and y coordinate is only between minus 1 to 1. So y coordinate least is minus 1, maximum is plus 1. So the range of sin x is minus 1 to 1. Cos x also, domain is r, range is minus 1 to 1. Tan theta, tan x or tan theta. What is domain? Domain definition is all the points where the function is defined. So all real numbers. So how to find the points where the domain is defined means all real numbers except the points where it is not defined. So from the real numbers, remove the points where the function tan theta will not be defined. So tan theta is sine by cos. So it will not be defined when the denominator becomes zero. So cos becomes zero when odd multiple of pi by two. Okay. So that was the thing that you studied last class. From here. Then under the answer is wrong. See now explanation solution of this. Sin x, a maximum. Sin x takes the values from 1 to minus 1. All the values from minus 1 to 1. So 2 plus sin x, if I just add a 2 everywhere, the inequalities that we did, 2 plus 1, 3, minus 1 plus 2 is 1. So 2 plus sin x, that is a, a lies between 1 to 3. Now 2 minus sin y, sin y lies between negative 1 to positive 1. So minus of sin y. Negative of sine y will also lie from 
minus one to plus one. I just multiplied it by minus one. Actually, this is a. I have skipped one step in between. I hope you can manage that. When we are multiplying by negative number, the inequality reverses. Keep this in mind. By solving inequalities, I every time I used to give a red star over here. We are multiplying by minus one. The inequality reverses. So one step I have skipped in between. The ultimate result will be this only. Negative of sine y also lies between minus one to one. So now adding two, adding two to all the sides. So this becomes two plus one three and two minus one one. So this is b. B lies between one to three. So what is a maximum? A maximum is three. And b minimum, a maximum is three. B minimum is one. So final answer will be four. Any doubts to anyone? Okay, no doubts. So next question. Same second part. This. Find a max plus b minimum. This is the original question. Okay, no change in this question. Find a max plus b minimum. Now in the second part, I am redefining a max. A is equals to sine x minus two complete square. Forget about the first part. Okay, that question is over. B is equals to cos y minus three complete. वेरी गुड पूजी था करेक्ट हारिनी रॉन्ग सर मैं जो बिच हारिनी हारिनी बी ओनली वन परसेंटेज हारिनी बी रॉन्ग Okay, let's see. The answer is thirteen. Sine x minus two 
minus one to one so sine x subtraction two minus two will be to minus one and here it will become minus three so now this value a value no, so no so this is not a let's say this is value this expression this purple expression lies between minus three to minus one so square will be greater than or equal to one less than or equal to nine okay be careful here there is one scope of silly mistake here if here it would have been plus one for example consider let's say here minus three to one sine x minus two if at all forget about the previous steps i'm just telling you i'm just giving an example if at all sine x minus two would have been from negative three up to positive one so don't make that sine x minus two whole square will be one to nine it won't be one to nine it will be zero to nine be careful at this stage because minus three it goes on increasing 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 is actually magnitude goes on decreasing magnitude goes on decreasing 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 up to zero and then again the magnitude goes on increasing from zero to one okay so be careful at that point here luckily completely we were in the negative range completely we were in the negative range so we could have directly we were able to directly square it square of sine x sine x minus two as from one to nine then cos y minus three cos y negative one to one so cos y minus three will be one minus three is minus two minus one minus three is minus four so square cos y minus three complete square we are completely in the negative range we are completely in the negative range so we can say two square is four and negative four square is sixteen okay we did or do not have to bother about whether zero will make any problem okay be careful at this stage so a max this is my b this is my b this is my a a maximum a maximum plus b minimum a maximum plus b minimum a maximum is 9 b minimum is 4 so 9 plus 4 will be 30. Clear? Everybody? Yes, sir. Class was still 8.30, right? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Class was scheduled till eight thirty, no? Correct. Okay. Some so yes. many many students have left. That's why I'm telling. Okay. Now we will continue till eight thirty only. Okay. P sec raised to four times theta. Plus eight is equal to ten times six square theta. Find the value of tan theta. Theta is some angle which is satisfying this identity. Three times sec raised to four theta plus eight is equals to ten times sec square theta. I am not telling you to find the angle theta. I'm not interested in the angle. I am just telling you to find tan theta. Whenever such question comes, it is not always possible to find the exact value of theta. Because trigonometric ratios, we only know some limited values only. For example, sine 30 equal to 1 by 2. But give you sin 30 equal to 1 by 2, you can calculate theta equal to 30 degree. But if I give you, let's say, sin, sin theta equal to, let's say, 1 upon 5. So theta will be some angle, but we cannot, we do not know that angle. So 
not necessary also to calculate that uh, angle, but we can calculate the trigonometric functions. Okay, try solving this question. Make use of all the identities that you know. For tomorrow's lecture, come thoroughly prepared with the formulas that we have studied. All the formulas by heart. I've sent one WhatsApp image also on the group, uh, an image of all the formulas. On the ANA group, I have sent that picture. Write all the formulas on one piece of paper for quick revision. Everybody has, everyone has that image with you. In the ANA group, we have sent it. Last week. Marini not getting. So no, sir. I am just uh, once glancing the question, sir. If you require a hint, type H in the chat box. Others, Dhananjay, Poojita, Makran. If you're not getting it, it's okay. But if you require a hint, type H in the chat box. I will give you a hint. Okay, Poojita, Dhananjay. Dhananjay, getting it? Others have told me to give a hint, something, explain or hint. Let's give Dhananjay a minute. I think he's able to solve it. So I can solve. Okay, I'm okay, only three participants are there other than. I am sending you a private message. Hint. Okay. Okay. Then Anjay is also unable to solve. Okay. Think in terms of quadratic equations. Take some help from quadratic equations.
Mujid, are you getting it? Makran, put on the camera. Sir, my camera is not working, sir. Yes, but that is not the only answer. More two values will come. Total four values. Yes, sir. Yes, correct. Are any correct? Okay, then Anjay, it should not take so much time. See quickly. Just three times sec raised to four theta minus ten times sec square theta plus eight is equals to zero. Think of sec square theta is equals to y. So sec raised to 4 theta will become y square. Can you see? 3 times y square minus 10 times y plus 8 is equals to 0. If you factorize this, so this is something like dy, y, 4, 2s are now. So 4, 2s are minus, minus, yes. So this is 3y minus 4 into y minus 2. Factorization of quadratic. That's it. Whatever method you feel preferable, do that. 3y minus 4, y minus 2. So y will turn out to be equal to 4 upon 3 or y will be equal to 2. Means sec square theta. Sec square theta is either 4 by 3 or sec square theta is equal to 2. But we are interested in tan theta. So what is the relation between sec theta and tan theta? You can know that you know the identity that sec square theta is nothing but 1 plus tan square theta. Since school we have studied in the 10th standard trigonometry chapter also we have studied this. 1 plus tan square theta is sec square theta. So from that tan square theta, here it comes out to be 1 by 3 or it turns out to be equal to 1. So tan theta, the tan theta will be plus minus 1 upon root 3 or plus minus four possible values. Okay. So that's all for today. Uh, if you have any doubts, you can ask, otherwise we will end the session. Okay, so let's meet tomorrow. Uh, I don't know whether tomorrow will be a class. Probably it will be there at 7 o'clock. I don't know. It is, if it is there, the message will be conveyed. If the message is not conveyed, don't worry. Okay. It won't be there. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.